Today we are using the EJ Lift Kit HM406. It comes with everything you require to remove an access cover. Remove keycaps at the front of the cover with screwdriver. Undo and remove the bolts on the side of the cover and keep them for reinsertion. Grab the long handled lifting keys and lock them in by turning clockwise 45 degrees. Place the roller bar at the front edge of the cover. With a straight back and bent legs, lift the long handled lifting keys upwards and slide the roller bar under the front edge of the cover. Pushing down on the lifting keys will pop the cover out and you will then roll the cover forward until it's past the front edge of the frame. Using the scraper and brush, clean the mating surfaces on both the cover and the frame's four sides. Once clean, reapply all four surfaces with Denso manhole sealing grease. This stops the surfaces from binding together and will create a watertight seal. To reinsert the cover, lift on the lifting keys and walk forward and the cover will slide back into place on the rolling bar. Once the cover's back edge is in place, lift the front edge up and remove the rolling bar. Remove the lifting keys by turning them 45 degrees anti-clockwise. Where a cover is tight and stuck in position, we suggest using a small lifting key, better known as a cracker. Place the small key into the keyhole and turn 45 degrees and lock into place. Tighten the nut down on the threaded shaft using a shifting spanner. Then turn the hex bolt clockwise. This will tighten down on the outside of the frame and will force the front of the cover up. You can then safely lift and remove the cover or lift and use the rolling bar. Two short keys can also be used as a pair. Once the cover has been reinserted, grab the hex head bolts and tighten back into place. Always finish by reinserting the keyhole caps. This prevents dirt and debris from filling the cavities. 